might have heard a term called toxin and majority of us relate this term to a poisonous chemicals. But today in this video we will discuss and clear the concepts regarding toxins. So let's get started. First of all toxins are the substances produced by living organisms. Note it. And most of the toxins are produced by pathogenic microorganisms. And most probably these microorganisms are bacteria most of the times. And as I said, these are the poisonous substance, which means they can disrupt the normal functioning of the host organism. Like uh, they can make you ill or even kill you when toxin is deadly. Brutalism. And make sure to make a difference between toxin and venom because both are poisonous substance produced by living organisms. So what makes the difference here? It's the method of delivery as venom is injected, whereas Toxins are secreted when bacterial cell invades the host. And another thing is here, venom is exclusive to invertebrates and vertebrates, whereas this toxin is mostly produced by microorganisms, prokaryotes, bacterial cells. Second point we see here, toxin is made up of proteins or lipids or any other tissue that can prove poisonous to the host. And last thing we see here, although toxins are produced by living organs, but these toxins are not biological agents. What I mean to say here is that toxins are inanimate. That toxin is not a living substance, but they are produced by living organisms. So we classify toxins into two categories, exotoxins and endotoxins. And here we are going to see about exotoxins first. As we already know, these are produced inside bacteria, either gram-positive bacteria or gram-negative bacteria. But exotoxins are produced mostly by gram-positive bacteria and these are mostly the proteins here and on the other side we see endotoxins they are not produced but endotoxins are itself a part of cell wall of gram negative bacteria they are exclusively present in gram negative bacteria these molecules endotoxin molecules they are also called lps molecules or lipopolysaccharide molecules it's present in the outer layer of cell wall endotoxins are lipids and polysaccharides as i already told you here in this diagram you can see how the bacteria produces exotoxins inside and then this bacteria secretes these exotoxins in its surroundings to infect the other cells and it must be noted here that the bacteria which secretes these exotoxins is at log phase and finally these exotoxins alters the function of nearby cells thereby causing immune response so this is all the mechanism that lies behind these exotoxins and on the other hand, we see a gram-negative bacteria which has got a LPS molecule or endotoxins embedded in its outer layer of cell wall because these endotoxins are a part of cell wall of these gram-negative bacteria. And these endotoxins comes into action only when the cell lyses, when the cell dies off. The reason behind it is that the inner part of endotoxin, the LPS molecule, which is actually the lipid A, which we are going to see in the next part of the video, what this lipid A is. This lipid A is toxic in nature, which is present inside of this cell wall, which only comes in contact to other cells when the bacterial cell dies off. That's why it causes toxicity when the bacterial cell dies off. Let's see the nature of exotoxins and endotoxins now. First, we see exotoxins, they are not pyogenic most of the time. That means they do not cause fever. But some species exotoxins can cause fever like scarlet fever. It has been seen majority of times that these molecules, these exotoxins, they do not prove to induce our thermoregulatory center to increase our internal body temperature. So no fever in that case. Whereas in case of endotoxins, they are always pyogenic as they stimulate the production of interleukin from macrophages which then stimulate the hypothalamus to increase temperatures. So its mechanism will be discussed in the different part of video. Now let's see what these exotoxins and endotoxins cause. Exotoxins cause tetanus which is caused by clostridium tetany. They cause also botulism which is caused by a bacterium called clostridium botulinum. And on the other hand we see endotoxins they cause sepsis which is caused by a bacterium called pseudomonas aeruginosa and it also causes meningococcemia which is caused by a bacterium called neisseria meningitis so this was all about exotoxins endotoxins their differences and how they act upon the other cells when they 
cost of city i hope you like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel thanks